The suspect in the Catholic supply store shooting might be a serial killer responsible for a murder in Tennessee 30 years ago. That is the warning from the co-founder of The Innocence Project. Five Minutes Side Jenna Barnes is here with what she has learned and really a lot of twists. A lot of twists. Another man was executed for that murder in Tennessee in 2006, but now representatives with The Innocence Project say the real killer could be Thomas Bruce. She was a young Marine Lance Corporal stationed at Millington Naval Base outside Memphis. Suzanne Collins was raped and murdered in 1985. This man, Sedley Alley, was convicted of those crimes and 13 years ago, he was executed by lethal injection. We need to know who did this. In a Memphis courtroom Monday, the co-founder of the Innocence Project, which works to exonerate the wrongly convicted, argued DNA evidence that was never tested could prove Ali wasn't guilty, and he announced a new lead on who the killer might be. We got a letter from law enforcement officials in St. Louis that an individual named Thomas Bruce had been arrested for a vicious murder. The Catholic supply shooting last year. Bruce is accused of shooting and killing Jamie Schmidt and sexually assaulting two other women in the West St. Louis County store. He's also charged in the sexual assault of an elderly woman in Jefferson County months earlier. The Innocence Project says after those crimes, investigators here dug through Bruce's history. And discovered that he had gone to the same avionics training school where Suzanne Collins, the 19-year-old uh, Marine Lance Corporal in this case, uh, was attending classes. They were saying to us, there's a possibility that he is the serial killer that you had argued uh, might be discovered with the DNA test all those years ago. The Innocence Project says after three decades, the evidence is still there and ready to be tested. Could be him, might be somebody else. DNA can tell us the answer. The judge in Tennessee says she'll decide whether this DNA testing can happen by November 18th. Bruce's trial for the Catholic supply shooting is scheduled for this time next year. He's pleaded not guilty.